I'm here at a dungeon in Chelsea, about to go meet Lucy and Puppy to watch one of their BDSM play sessions. And I think what's gonna happen is that essentially she's just gonna whip him into a state of transcendence. But I guess I'm gonna find out. So I have, you know, some hoods and gags. I love latex, so I'm wearing one of my cat suits. It looks good. Thank you. My two favorite whips with me. And this one is what we call a single tail whip. And this is a mini bull whip. So this is really painful. Yes, it's one of the most painful. This will cut skin. Nice. OK, so where's Puppy, anyway? He's in the bathroom getting ready. Pops, come out. Hey. Nice undies. Thank you. It's my favorite color. You want us to show her what they say? Oh my god, that's amazing. They have matching tops, too. So do you guys have a safe word? No, that's part of our consensual non-consent. He's consented to pretty much whatever I want to do. Of course, beyond, like, killing him, which I would never do. <laughs> would you ever consent to that, like, ahead of time? Would that be something that, like, would happen? That's my limit. <laughs> so he's shining your latex now. Yeah. Spray more. Don't rub it in too hard, though. Latex takes a lot of maintenance. As a rubber fetishist, this is definitely his treat right now before it gets painful. Having been a dominatrix myself, seeing someone be bullwhipped is old news. But it's harder to imagine torturing someone you see every day, as opposed to beating up a random. It'll be interesting to see how this feels different. We're going to go soft first. And then maybe every third or fourth one is going to be a little bit harder. One. Two. <clears throat> three. I like to aim for the nipple because I am nasty like that. <clears throat> Good Ooh. job, Pugs. Look at that. Is your spit getting everywhere? Swallow. We're going to hear what noises come out of you without a gag. They're so beautiful. These, you know, signs of devotion. Pups, turn to the side and show Cardi. Yeah, yeah. That's all from today? That thing is not joking. And I like to work on my backhand. Mm. Oh. Good boy. What was that like? It hits that spot. And I will get to what I'm looking for eventually. You seem really calm, actually. Yeah, I'm fine right now. Can't really say things right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind goes somewhere else in a subspace, and you're just feeling. Is there a sexual component to this for you? Like, are you, this is not sexual. In the same way it's mental for her, it's mental for me. This isn't my sex. This is my endorphin rush. We've done a powerful session before where I was whipping him, and I was going through some some really emotional things myself, personally. And while he was, you know, definitely crying and releasing from the things he needed to get out of him, I was as well, you know? And there was that back and forth of, like, that I needed that release, too. You know, I'm going to put him in a body bag, and it's almost like a place for him to sort of decompress like a sensory deprivation tank and just let it mentally, like, let him float. Watching them, it was very clear that they both really enjoyed the roles that they were playing and that they have a genuine chemistry. A more traditional couple would use sex as a way to achieve a state of intimacy and vulnerability, and it just felt like they were using pain to achieve the same thing. I realize that it's counterintuitive to leave a scene where someone's being beaten until they bleed and say that it was a sweet moment, but it did genuinely feel that way. And ultimately, she looked really hot, which is probably the most important thing. And I should probably get myself some latex. <laughs>